Encounter. Hello, everyone, and welcome to SeaWorld. My name is Ariane, and on behalf of all of us here, we would like to show our appreciation for the men and women in uniform. We proudly welcome you and your families, and at this time, we ask that any member of the armed forces, past or present, as well as the armed forces of our allies to please rise and remain standing. We thank you for your service. SeaWorld is not only dedicated to the men and women in uniform, but to the world that we share as well. Now please enjoy Orca Encounter. one interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Welcome to SeaWorld's Orca Encounter. My name is Blake, and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic animal. seeing a killer whale up close and learning about them and their natural behaviors. We hope that this orca encounter will help you better understand these magnificent creatures and all that they represent. Surface of the water, blending with the light above, 
giving them the perfect count clock. really are a natural wonder. And Corky and Keith are going to help me show you some of their physical characteristics. Their blowhole is perfectly designed for getting a quick breath of air up the surface of the water. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks like their eyes are located in the white patch, but that's a visual distraction. Your eyes are really located in the black area in front of the white patch, camouflaged from thrashing prey. <laughs> the fin on top of the whale's back is called a dorsal fin, which is mainly used to help stabilize orcas as they swim and regulates their body temperature. The flippers on either side of the whale are called pectoral flippers, which are mainly used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them, just like our human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are the killer whale's engine, propelling them up to nearly 30 miles an hour, which is as fast as our speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies up and out of the water. of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. A peck slap might be used to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother might use a peck slap to get her calves attention. Spy hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings while they hunt. Slaps 
are another form of communication that killer whales use out in the wild and right here at SeaWorld. Killer whales are great communicators, so it's no wonder we're at the top of the ocean's food chain. Killer whales work together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle Harry, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the Harry. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. Same behavior right here in our slide out. Antarctic killer whales will actually create waves washing over floating ice and knocking seals into the water. You can see our whales doing the same wave making technique right here in the front of the pool. Demonstrating one of the many impressive and complex hunting abilities that killer whales have developed around the world. Now you all just saw all of these waves crashing in front of you, but it's truly impossible to imagine the amount of water displays until you experience it firsthand. Lucky for all of us, we have a very brave volunteer that's going to experience the power of a killer whale's brave. You ready to get wet? All right, bud, come on down here. Round of applause for our brave volunteer. Go ahead and take a seat. Hold on to that handle and scoot all the way back. All right, 55 degrees salt water is coming your way. All right, it looks like heat is gonna come over. All right, here he comes. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, 
killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator. for killer whales. It's how young whales learn to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. Killer whales are always interacting and showing their playful side. They can be seen doing this when riding in the wake of a boat or surfing in an ocean wave. rubbing their bellies on rocks when they can. We see our whales here doing it all the time, just like whales in British Columbia. Imitating each other in the wild. We see a sea or a sea world all the time. The whales are always mimicking and learning from one another. Shape. 
The whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.